Hi, this is Roger Eastlick with a quick video tutorial and recommendation for the optimal uh, screen resolution for capture screen capture recordings, especially in YouTube. Um, basically, what I would say is that here are the recommendations of YouTube, but it's interesting because YouTube has gone over to a 16, uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. That means that uh, um, for every 16 pixels over, it's 9 pixels down. But um, and but it doesn't really seem to work out. I mean, if you do record at uh, 720p at 1280 by 720, it works out okay. And if you record at 854 by 480, it works out okay. But the thing about it is, if you want a little bit more resolution out of it, screen size out of it when you do screen capture, but you don't want to go all the way up to 1280 by 720, um, then strangely enough you actually have to use a resolution that's not 16 by 9 and let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about um, let me talk about for a second why screen recording resolution matters see so the the goal is to get to avoid distorted text right if you've got the wrong resolution um, like for example if I upload at 1024 by uh, 5 se or 760 576 which is 16 by 9 then I get distorted text when I upload that to YouTube for some reason so you want to avoid that you want to avoid text that's too small so if you use the um, 7 or the uh, 720p resolution of 1280 by 720 then you've got really tiny text to do with and people can't even see it and then you've got to do things like pan and zoom and things like that try to enlarge it but that takes a lot of work but you do want to maximize the screen real estate so you know most websites they're like a thousand pixels wide and you'd like to be able to show that without uh, having to again resort to the pan and zoom so um, you know you want to be able to just have that resolution there and so you want to use the highest resolution possible um, but same time you probably should be archiving all of the files that you upload to YouTube um, and it's nice to use one file for everything but you should be um, definitely archiving everything because you never know when YouTube could shut your account down and then you might want to upload them to another service for example and if you don't have the recordings and just figure that you know they're safe with YouTube you're in for you could be in for a real shocker um, you want, if you can, it's good to have a standard resolution that you can use for you, your public YouTube videos as well as your public blog or maybe your, your, um, your private or restricted membership sites so that you don't have to keep um, getting used to a certain resolution. So this is the reason that I recommend the resolution of 1024 by 568. This has been recorded in 1024 by 568. It's uh, it, it sizes down nicely to 40p. With the larger player in YouTube, you can see it quite well. Um, and I think you can see that from this, for example, that you can see everything quite well. If you go into, for example, um, a WordPress website if you're going to demonstrate that see if those will come up here fairly quickly then you can see that um, it's quite easy to see so if we just go down here for example and show you how things come up I've not, I've not resized this I just have this at the uh, 1024 by 568 resolution and I've not used any pan and zoom so this seems to work the best for me. This is Roger Eastlick. This is uh, the best resolution for uh, YouTube recording resolution. I hope this video has been of use. Have a great day.